Critical thinking is learning to think twice about the evidence in front of your eyes and to ask what is really going on in the world. If you look at being a student today, you are confronted with almost infinite information on screen. You are bombarded with feeds, fake news, opportunities. How do you engage with this? For me, critical thinking is one of the key skills for coping with an information age and also for what makes people skilled, unique and valuable in an era of disruption, automation and tidal waves of possibilities sweeping away much that used to be certain. If you're improving critical thinking as a student, you are becoming a more discerning consumer of information. You're becoming better at differentiating between good and bad sources. And also, you're becoming better at the fundamentals of making arguments, coming up with explanations, and asking how to get to grips with a subject, how to express your own ideas, and take away something of value that belongs to you, rather than just parroting other people's words and desperately trying to make your way through endless reading lists. If you look at lecturers today, more and more people are coming into education with higher and higher expectations. And a lot of people feel overwhelmed. They feel that so much is expected of them, and yet many students are not confident in the basics of researching, of engaging with ideas, of being autonomous learners. And what I hope this book does, above all, is it's something you can trust to take students of all types and give them confidence as autonomous thinkers and researchers, so you can get on with teaching and you can let them worry about how to learn, how to think, how to put together the basics and start getting stuck into the good stuff. What I'm imagining future readers of my book, apart from imagining there being absolutely loads of them, I like to think, first of all, about someone aged 17 or 18 who is very bright but maybe the first person in their family to go to university, probably on a social science degree, but perhaps they're studying psychology without having much of an academic background. I like the idea that this book is a friend to them. It says, this is how you can start to think systematically about learning. This is how you can think about organising your study time. This is how you can think about organising your time and attention when you are constantly distracted and bewildered by social media and options and opportunities. So I hope this book will hold your hand and give you the confidence to dive into your subject and start thinking for yourself, even if you haven't got a deep background in study. Another person, I like to imagine that someone who's doing an MBA, someone at a business school, a lot of education, but maybe they haven't thought about the fundamentals of learning, what it means to understand, to critique, to take apart other people's arguments and ideas and then put them back together again. I like the idea that these are skills that business craves today, the skill to think analytically, to think outside the box, to think beyond automated systems and templates, and that when you're doing something like an MBA, you can make the case that this kind of independent, critically engaged thinking is just what you need to thrive in a digital age. And finally, especially from when I was researching the book and talking to people, I like the idea that for a lot of people who are medics, who are harder scientists perhaps, even in biochemistry, in physics, this could be a book that helps them get to grip with some fundamentals. People who are working in narrow fields can be really enriched by thinking about where the scientific method as a whole fits into their world and what it might mean for them to test the boundaries of assumptions in their field, to think again about why they are doing this, what it might amount to, and how they might collaborate, how they might link up from the silos of their expertise to others working across a whole spectrum of fields with the same underlying interest in talking more richly about what is really going on.